Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, AutoCAD Basics. Today we're going to go over how to draw a line. Uh, this function is pretty basic. It's one of the ones you're going to be using most often in AutoCAD. And it is in the Home tab in the Draw box. So, let's get started. Alright everyone, we're going to get started with how to draw a line. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your cursor slash mouse. And you're going to bring it all the way up to the left hand corner to the line button. Now the line button is under the home tab in the draw box and you're going to left hand click on the line button. So what this does is it brings your new cursor down onto the sample sheet and model and it's more of a crosshair than a crosshair with a little square in the middle. So the first thing you're going to want to do is it's going to ask you to specify your first point and depending on your drawing that really is going to be anywhere or wherever you want to start the line. So we're going to start it right here and we are going to left hand click on the mouse to get that started. So I left hand click. Now I can drag the line to the right, left, up, down. I can even go diagonal in any way or any degree. But for this example, we're just going to drag it to the right. Now, when I drag it to the right, you're going to see that a blue box with numbers is a, appears above it. And it continues to grow as I move the line. And that is going to be how big your line is. So for example, this line is about one foot six and some change. And we are going to left click to finish the line. So we left click to finish the line. The line is now complete and drawn. And it leaves you off where the line ended, your first line or your initial line, your specified point. So from here, I'm going to create another line. And as you can see, once I move the cursor, it builds off the line I just created. So we're going to move it down about an inch and a half, and we're going to left click again. And then we're going to move it to the right. As you can see, it still keeps building off that line. We're going to left click again. Now to get out of the line function, you are going to actually want to right click on the mouse, and it's going to give you this option box. This option box is going to give you a couple options in it, and you're going to move on to the second one and left click, cancel. So now you have some odd shape right here, but let me show you how to actually say you want to create a line that is a specified distance. So we're going to go up to the line button again in the home tab draw box, left hand click. We have your cursor right here and we're going to specify this point as a starting point right about here. Oop, not right. Sorry, line box, specify this as the right starting point. We're going to go about, let's just say we're going to go 2 foot 5 inches. So right now, with the box and the numbers in there being blue, that means they are able to be edited. So on my keyboard, I'm going to type the 2. I'm going to use the single apostrophe for feet. And then I'm going to type a 5 and use the quotation or double apostrophe, apostrophe excuse me, 4 inches. Once I've typed that in the box, I'm going to click enter on the keyboard, and there we go. So my line right here is 2 foot 5 inches long. And as you can see, I my next line continues off that line. So let's continue and build another one, and let's go 12 inches or 1 foot. So I can either do either one, but we're just going to go, we're going to type in 1 on the keyboard. We're going to do 1 tick marker, 1 apostrophe click enter and that gives us a foot long line so let's continue on and just build the box out so we had a two foot five inch line on the bottom so we're gonna go two on the keyboard uh, one apostrophe sorry one apostrophe a five a double apostrophe or quotation mark and enter and there we go the line begins right at the other one. It's the exact same. And then as you can see, when I connect it to the point, it is one foot exactly. So we're going to left click again to enter. And then as discussed earlier, we are going to right click, press cancel to get out. And there you have it. You are now, you have now completed a full on rectangle and you're ready to draw more lines. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. 
If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. And other than that, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. Thank you.